It makes a difference how you wrap. We'd like to give you some simple tips to follow, and of course this video is not meant as individual medical advice or a recommendation for you to wrap. You need to always follow the advice of your healthcare provider. So before you start, you want to make sure that your wrap is rolled up and you hold it like this. Now we're always going to start below the level of the joint and wrap up toward the heart or the central circulation. So in the knee that means starting in the calf, putting a slight tension on our wrap, and as we go around trying to make the letter X each time we wrap. We want to make sure that we haven't created any wrinkles or areas where the skin might be exposed through the wrap. Again, the letter X each time. Crossing the knee joint with our goal of ending up on the thigh. Now you can see that I haven't got enough roll left to meet my, into, to meet my goal of coming the whole way up here to the thigh, so we're going to have to rewrap and start again, and that's okay. Until you get used to the size of the wrap that you have, you might need to start over. We'll try this one one more time. In the end, we may end up using a different wrap if this one doesn't work. They come in all different sizes. So again, we're going to hold our wrap. Now we know we need to start a little bit higher with our first turn. Again, making sure we don't have the wrinkles and we don't have any areas of skin exposed. We're making the letter X each time. We don't want to go circumferentially around the joint as we wrap because that would actually act to cut off the circulation rather than promote its flow back up into the heart. So again, this wrap is not working out the way I would like it to. Even though it does have a nice feature, it has the Velcro closure which makes it easy to secure. So let's take this wrap off and try a different size. This may take some trial and error as you're finding out what works best for you and to get used to the length of the wrap that you're using. So this one may be better for an elbow joint. We'll save that for later. So if we take our bigger sized wrap, this is a six inch wrap, and we're going to go with the same concept. We're going to go below the level of the knee. We're going to hold that tension each turn. Try to overlap our wrap by half, smoothing out any wrinkles, making sure there aren't any areas of exposed skin. As we come up and we cross the knee joint, and we want to end up on the thigh. Now with this wrap it's a little more difficult. It does not come with the Velcro so we just use some medical tape and we secure the wrap this way. Even though these wraps generally come with the metal clips, we like to throw those out and use something a little bit safer that won't have the tendency to poke through the wrap and into the skin. So we're going to ask our patient to keep an eye on how his leg feels uh, after about 10 minutes, does he feel tingling, numbness, coolness, um, or have any pockets of swelling right here at the edge of the wrap? And if he does, we'll rewrap it with a different tension, pulling a little bit less, and we will ask him to monitor those symptoms for us.